Are there any particular things that you think about specially with cancer patients that are different than when you're treating patients that like are outside of the throes of cancer? Like let's say someone that's actively undergoing chemotherapy, is there a way that you treat them differently versus the ones that are going through chemotherapy? Like should a patient like have some pause or are there special considerations you take? For example, we're talking a little bit more about nerve blocks right now. Mm -hmm. The only thing that would give me pause really is around um, whether their blood counts are too low for mm -hmm. as a result of the chemotherapy that they're taking, that that might make it not safe potentially at that point to take to do a nerve block. But why, that's is it, why, why is it not safe? So there's increased risk for infection or bleeding, for example. Okay. Sometimes with their various different sound like bad treatments, things. Which, of course, we don't want, <laughs> right? Yes. Um, but that's why we check labs, you know. So it's very routine. It's very common. But I think that people get stuck in this idea of, oh, my gosh, I'm going through chemotherapy. I can't possibly take on anything else. But I really do think that the, the things that we can offer can be really going alongside the chemotherapy and can actually really enhance the chemotherapy yeah. experience. Because the last thing you want to do is you want to, you don't want to cancel your chemotherapy because you're feeling terrible. And that happens all the time. So I see us in a role where we can actually help patients get to their chemotherapy treatments, get to their radiation treatments by addressing the pain up front early on.